pretty awesome. This is the same planter and pipe and plants that I used to make a video three years ago on how to make the easiest self-watering um, planters. And they have been outside. I'll be honest, I have not taken care of them. I've got a four-year-old and a two-year-old and they have not seen any attention at all in probably a year and a half. But I want to uh, show you how to do this planter, the easiest self-watering planter there is. I'm gonna explain it a little better in this video than I did in the video three years ago. And I've got two new ways to do self-watering planters that I'm gonna do in a part two and a part three. So I'll place links at the end of this video and give you links to those so you can see all three ways to make the easiest self-watering planters there are. Super simple. If you got a jug and a bucket, you are on your way to doing this. So it's great for urban gardens and even inside if you need to on a smaller scale. But let's go ahead and get started. First off, I'm going to take this apart and show you what was involved in making this. What we've got here are some strawberry plants, which are three years old and they don't even make strawberries anymore. And uh, we've got a pipe with a nail in it. See my nail? All right. And we're going to bring this bucket over here. And the reason I'm doing this inside is because I'd rather clean dirt up on my kitchen floor than be outside in the heat. Because <laughs> it is really, really hot. And not afraid to scrub the floor. But I am afraid of the heat. And I hope we don't find any creatures down here because this has been outside for a while. Down underneath the dirt, you have this jug, which, year and a half of no attention, it has rainwater in it. This really works, people. Um, I have holes drilled in the jug so that the roots can go down into the jug and get water. Now, these plants were so pathetic and old that they just don't have hardly any root systems. But, um... Let's see, where's my pipe? Here we go. This would stick in here so that this would be at the top of the dirt and you could fill your jug with water if you were truly taking care of your plant, unlike me. <laughs> if you weren't having any rain, you could manually fill the jug with water. That way, um, when you would see water bubbling up to the surface on the dirt, you would know that your jug was full of water and uh, the plant's roots would eventually make it down into the jug. You would need to water the dirt around your plants until probably I would give them, on the safe side, three to four weeks of watering around here to make sure their roots have reached the water in the jug. Now, um, let's move this out of the way. The rest of this is just dirt. You can use potting soil, but we did corn in a bucket, believe it or not, and those roots, we did cucumbers too one year, and those roots were just all in that milk jug. They had filled the milk jug full of roots, and they, it was wonderful. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. We did tomato plants also, and those were the biggest tomato plants I have ever gotten because they had a constant supply of water from this jug. So what we're going to do now, now that we've done the reverse, I've got a new bucket here and we're going to put it all together. So I can show you step by step how to put it together now that I've shown you what it looks like after three years. So here we go. First, jug. So you put your jug in the bucket like this and then pipe and the nail is to keep the pipe from going all the way down because there's no reason to have pipe going all the way down into the jug. The only reason we have the pipe is so we can fill the jug with water while it's underneath the dirt. Next step, we take dirt. And you're going to want to use potting soil. I don't actually have potting soil right now. This is just for your, your FYI. So we're just using regular old dirt. But use potting soil when you're doing this. It will give your plants more nutrients. And then we got it almost full. What we need to do now is drill holes in our milk jug. So let me get my drill. I love a drill. There we go. And 
You can't drill too many holes. These holes are going to be how your roots get into the jug. There we go. See my many, many holes? All right, that's how the roots are going to get in the jug to find the water. Now we're going to finish filling it up with dirt. Oh, we got a little visitor. Hi, Mimi. She has no idea. She's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> she is gone. All right, more dirt. How we are going to put water in the jug is through this pipe now. Okay. Now, you can plant whatever you want in here. Now, the thing you need to know is this is key. Is this going to be inside? If it's inside where it's not going to get any rain, you do not need to drill holes in the bottom of this bucket. But if it is going to be outdoors where it's going to get a monsoon of rain every once in a while, you need to drill holes in the bottom of this bucket so that the water that soaks into this dirt has a place to drain. Otherwise, it's going to fill full of water and you're going to have soup and your plant's going to float away down the river. I would put some holes like I did. Let me bring it over here. This is my old planter. There's a hole here. And there's a hole on both sides. And you could even do four of them. Um, four holes all around the edges. There's also holes down here. Um, I put holes on the side so that if it's sitting on the ground like this, it has a place to drain on the side. We've got some brand new little baby strawberries here. And they're going to be perfect to start over. Uh, now that my kids are a little older, maybe I'll have a little bit more time to take care of these guys. Now I'm going to water them manually with some water in this dirt around here for the first couple of weeks until his roots reach down into the jug. Now with strawberries, you can even do a more shallow system, go like this, where the jug is closer to the surface. And I'm gonna show you that in part two. So for more shallow rooted plants, definitely watch part two. And that'll be coming up, follow this link, right up here in this corner. See that link? You'll wanna watch that for shallow plants, or for a different type of planner that may suit your needs better. Thanks guys.